Thanks again, boss. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Have a good one. Spelled Jacob is cow to man. West Nile mosquito to man. Now Ebola. Some believe is monkey to man. Others believe the culprit was a bat. Twenty years later, we still don't know for sure. But what we do know is that new viruses are nature's bioterrorists, hijacking animal hosts. To... Hmm. Encephalitis. Could be a reaction to my dynamic personality. <laughs> Either one have been known to cause periods of deep sleep. <laughs> Hello. And our time is up. Do have a pleasant holiday. Relax your brains, come back refreshed. If any of you have any questions over the break, Here's my email address. Linda at the beach, don't bother me, Doc. <laughs> okay, have a great spring break. Be careful out there. Thank you. Close the island? Where is everybody? They're all hiding so they don't see you vacationing with your mother. Welcome to Basarato Island, Dr. Fleming. Thank you very much. How did you know it was me? Let's just say you have an excellent travel agent. <laughs> you enjoy your stay on the island now. Oh, I'm sure we will. Thank you. Bye-bye. Here, I'll take that. Oh, no, we're all right. Thanks. You want a cab, right? 
I'll take you to your hotel. I'll give you a tour of the island for a good price. What do you say? Actually, I think somebody from the hotel is going to be picking us up. That's well, right. you could be out here all day. Is that what you want? We're fine, really. It's all right, Mr. Baines. I'll take care of them. Take a hike, kid. They're mine. They're staying at our hotel. Dr. Fleming, Kathy Johnson from the hotel. So good to you. Sorry I'm late. Maybe you didn't hear me. Look, um, is it Mr. Baines? Perhaps another time. Thank you. Well, that was pleasant. Sorry, it's my fault. I should have been here on time. Go oh, here. Yeah. Here, let me get this. I don't believe it. Please leave me alone. Hello. Yeah. So, you want to dive today? Sure. The sooner the better. Good, because I'm taking you. My dad owns the hotel, and I'm its dive master. Got the tanks ready to go. Oh, rock and roll. <laughs> so, vacationing with your mom, huh? What's that like? Oh, that's not so bad. She usually behaves herself. And maybe your mom can keep her busy, distract her. My mom passed away. What, like you were supposed to know? No, 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 I'm sorry. No, no, forget about it. It happens all the time. People just assume, you know. Yeah. The first thing we gotta do is get that thing away from her and then bury it. Have you ever tried taking a pork chop away from a coyote? Ouch! Mm -hmm. <laughs> downtown Barcerado, an island with a dark and hideous past. Oh, really? In what way? Oh, come on, Ma. Everybody knows Godzilla was born here. <laughs> that was another island just east of here, the one that glows in the dark. Oh, right. <laughs> now, you know, Columbus stopped here on his way to the New World, and he took one look at this place and said, wow, what a beautiful island. Let's kill everybody. And they did. They slaughtered the inhabitants and then took everything they had. Jeez, what was his problem? Tours from hell. <laughs> The next group of people to come were the slaves. They were forced to harvest the salt crop. You know, most of the salt used by the civilized world came from this island. I don't remember reading any of this in your hotel brochure. Well, we were afraid we would attract the wrong kind of people. Wise choice. <laughs> Back. It's great. Huh? <laughs> this is paradise. You know, we have people that come here all stressed out and they just never leave. We have banking executives working here as waiters just so they can stay. It's so totally cool. All right, that's it, Mom. I'm staying. Send the rest of my stuff, will you? Can I have your room? <laughs> right on. <laughs> So he lives here on the island. He has family here. Yes. Poppy? Poppy, just relax. I'm a doctor. An ambulance is on the way. Leave him. Excuse me? Leave him alone, please. Hey! 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 hey back off! It is a good son who protects his mother. Now step back. Do we don't touch him! Linda, it's okay. This is Joseph. I don't care who he is. This man is seriously ill. He could be highly contagious. You're a doctor? That's right. to me. You are putting yourself in danger. Where are you taking him? I'm asking you a question. Where are you taking him? Who is that man? Joseph. 
Who's Joseph? He's the leader of a religious group called the Faithful. They practice natural medicine. You know, herbs and stuff. He's healed a lot of people. You know this for a fact? That's what everybody says. Hello. Welcome to the Tropics Hotel. And this is my father. Dad, this is Dr. Fleming, and this is Will. Mr. Johnson? Please, call me Paul. We're really casual around here. Oh, all right then. Linda. Linda. And you must be Will. Sir. Nice to meet you. Hi. Well, let's get you folks settled We in. had a near miss on the road. What happened? It wasn't your daughter's fault. This man collapsed in the street right in front of us. It was Poppy. I missed running over him by about a foot. Was he hurt? I don't think so. Just sick or something. Joseph was there and he took him away. Well, I'll check on Poppy later, see if he's okay. Let's get you folks settled in, then maybe we can all sit down and have a bite to eat. Oh, no, Dad. I'm gonna take Will scuba diving. <laughs> it's the best time at South Reed. Will, could you take our bags up? Yeah. Come on. Good to meet you. Good to meet you, too. What a nice boy. I'd like to pay a visit to your hospital. You're not feeling well? No, no, it's not that. Well, I can drive you myself. Would you? Sure. I appreciate that. Sure, come on. I meant to ask you, is your husband going to be joining you? I don't think so. He went out for a walk about seven years ago. I haven't seen him since. I did get a postcard, though, from Brazil saying, hi, having a wonderful time. Glad you're not here. Send Will. I didn't. I see. Are you sure? He's an older man. People call him Poppy. Poppy? The bald guy that sells chickens by the side of the main road. Oh, yes, of course, but he would never come here. Has something happened to him? Well, yeah, he collapsed in the street. I'm just concerned because I noticed that he had open lesions and dried scabs. Are you sure? I'm quite sure. My field is virology. A man named Joseph took him away. Is there some other medical facility on the island? No, there isn't. Joseph would not take him anywhere near a doctor. I mean, he believes in folk medicine and prayer. So do a lot of other people on this island. I see. Look, um, could you do me a favor, and if this man Poppy does come in, could you call me? I'm at the Tropics Hotel. Of course. Dr. Fleming. So, you know this, Joseph? Yeah, he's a friend of mine. Where can I find him? He lives on the other side of the island. I can take you there if you'd like. Well, wait a minute. Aren't you supposed to be, uh, running a hotel or something? It practically runs itself. Hmm. Sounds like you really know how to delegate. Right? Well, what were you thinking? Duh. <laughs> so how long have you known Joseph? Well, I met him when we first arrived. He welcomed us. He's quite a remarkable guy. You know, he was a champion freediver. Several years ago, he was here on vacation. And on one of his deepest dives, he had a, a, a religious experience. So much so that the next day he quit his job and started his own religious movement. Wow. Yeah. He has quite a few followers. Very powerful looking man. Well, he was a record holder. You won't hear him talking about it. Your daughter mentioned that he has a reputation for being a healer. Yeah. Yeah, he's helped quite a few people. Me included. Really? Well, not me, actually. My wife. Your wife? 
She died. Oh, I'm sorry. I never knew anything could taste so good. Glad you liked it. Uh, what's not to like? You got the ocean view, the surf, and the great weather, and, uh, and no smog. What else? It's a virus. Maybe it's something else. We need to get them to the hospital. God knows how far it's spread. Look, whatever you do, don't touch any of these people. Sorry to, uh, I'm sorry to intrude like this, but uh, I brought someone to see you. Doctor? You have a serious problem here. Yes, it would appear so. These people need medical care. Now, I'm sure Paul and I could arrange for transportation to the hospital. That won't be necessary, Doctor. We'll be quite all right here. Look around you. Do you see what's happening? This is what a viral outbreak looks like. This island has had its share of tropical illnesses, Doctor. We managed to survive. I'm sure this one will be no different than the others. You're not well. That will pass. That lesion points to something far worse than anything you may have ever had. Joseph, maybe it'd be a good idea, just this once. It's all right. I appreciate your concern, my friend. And I love you for it. But God will look after us. I'd like to see the man we were trying to help earlier, Poppy. Poppy's resting, perhaps tomorrow. No, you don't understand. He may be the one responsible for bringing the virus to the island. I need to know where he's been and how many people he's been in contact with. Again, I appreciate your concern, but... Sir, I respect your beliefs, I do. But when your actions affect the health and well-being of other people, something has to be done. <laughs> we threaten no one. Forgive me for saying this, sir, but you are being foolish. Now, I am very aware of the benefits that can be derived from natural medicines. I've used them myself, but always in conjunction with modern science. Now, please, isn't there some way that we could work together? I'm sorry. I see. You're not particularly interested in helping people. You just want to keep them under your control. Linda. I don't care. I'm sorry. But this man could end up being responsible for the deaths of everyone in this compound. Joseph, what would it hurt? Just this once. I mean, God will still be here with him. It's time for you to go. I appreciate your concern, my friend. Doctor. You're not well, Joseph. You're not going to be healing anybody. May God bless you and keep you. for the Center for Disease Control in Atlanta, Georgia, please. I'll be leaving in a week, and I really wish I didn't have to. Me too. I guess I shouldn't feel this way about someone I've only known for a few hours. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but nice. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe there's some way we can... Maybe. I mean, it's not like you live on another planet, right? <laughs> You've never been to Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's not like you don't have summer vacations. Yeah. Well, if you want to make some money, then uh, my dad could give you a job at the hotel. Really? Dad? That would be so cool. <laughs>
Kathy was with you when you helped Poppy, right? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. I'll keep an eye on her. Tell me if she shows any signs of symptoms of headache, respiratory problems, anything at all. I will. Hey, Dad! Hey, Kathy, are you okay, honey? <laughs> what do you mean? Of course I'm okay. Why? Come here. Do you have a headache or any kind of discomfort? No. Nothing. Uh, I'm a little tired. We had a great time out there, Mom. It's awesome. You have to go with us next time. Oh, I will. It sounds like fun. You sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, why? No, oh, nothing. Just being my regular overprotective self, I guess. Look, why don't we all get together later and have dinner? Unless you have any plans. No, it sounds lovely. Good. Okay, I'll see you later, honey. Yes, Mother? She looks okay to me. I think she's gonna be fine. Good. Excuse me. Yes. How many patients have you admitted with those symptoms, Doctor? How long has he been symptomatic? 24 hours. Started with a headache, then a fever. Well, it's hard to tell with this equipment, but it's probably a virus. Can we get those samples out to the CDC tonight? Yes, we can put them on the next flight. What kind of virus is it? Uh, that's gonna take some research. I I've never seen anything like this. I'm gonna need a sample of Poppy's blood. Make sure we're dealing with the same set of viral characteristics. Also gonna have to go out to Joseph's again. But this time, I want the police with me. That's serious, huh? fresh from our garden, lovingly hand-prepared for you and your mother. Oh, she can't make it. I know, my dad called. But you have to tell her how good it is. I want to impress her. I will. <laughs> I was just sitting here thinking, if I don't eat soon, I'm gonna die. Parents don't seem to realize that we have, like, supersonic metabolism. If we don't eat every 12 minutes, then a body part just falls off. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, too much sun, I guess. Getting a headache. Oh, here, sit down. Oh, don't you start to. I'm fine. Move your napkin. Mmm, this looks fabulous. <laughs> Everything's so fresh here. It's like this whole island, one big health food place. People don't get sick here hardly. That's why this thing with Poppy is kind of scary. What if this thing is really serious? I don't know, it's probably just the flu or something. It's what Poppy had. I've got it. Kathy. I've got it, Will. Kathy. No, no, no. Stay away from me. Stay away. Kathy. Wait. Joseph? Joseph? Where is everybody? Joseph! How soon before the police get here? Uh, 15, 20 minutes. He said he was on the other side of the island. He? Yeah, Bobby. He's our only... You have one policeman? <laughs> yeah. That's all we really need. I mean, there's no real crime here. An occasional stolen chicken. Amazing. I feel badly about this. I mean, bring in the cops, even if it's just Bobby. Joseph is going to have a hard time forgiving me. Tell me about this, Joseph. You say he helped your wife. Yeah. My wife had cancer. And, uh... The doctors, uh... had done all they could for her. And she was suffering terribly. She loved this island. We spent our honeymoon here. So she asked me to bring her back here and spend the rest of her life. And I did. When the pain got too much for her to bear, I took her to see Joseph. And he gave her three more months of a pain-free life. She died at peace. 
I'll never be able to repay him. It's nice that he was there for her. Our brother has gone on to the next world. We will miss him. Yes. The pain we feel is a good thing. Yes. Embrace it. Yes. It will teach us to appreciate those we love while they're still with us. Yes. Poppy was loved. Yes. No one could ask for more. Yes. Some of you may ask, where was God? And Poppy was sick. Right he was right there with his hands out, yes. leading him home. Let us send him to his final rest with his favorite hymn. Yeah. When did it happen? Just after you left today. I don't want to be contentious, but now do you see how very important it is that your people go to the hospital and get checked out? You listen, but you're not here. My people have no need of hospitals. But is God making house calls? Linda, would you excuse us what? for a minute? <laughs> you like this woman? What? Dios, I just met her. Yeah, I like her, so? It's time you loved someone again. Well, that may be true, Joseph, but that's not why we're here. On the contrary, it is why we are all here. Look, I know what you're doing, and I appreciate it. I really do. But we need to get some blood from Poppy. Poppy is dead. Yeah, but he's available. Are you asking me if you can take blood from a dead man? Joseph, you make it sound horrible. She makes it sound scientific, but yes, that's what I'm asking. Is this important? It is to her. And you? Look, I want to help her, okay? Let's just leave it at that. She's a doctor and she wants to help us. Who? Us. Everybody on the island. Joseph, do you... If Poppy has a virus, we have to know what kind. You think she would stay here with you? Live here? I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Well... Maybe I've thought about it a little bit. They're waiting for me. Wait a second. Are you going to let her take the blood? You have to ask Poppy. Joseph, he's dead. <laughs> Finally, you have grasped the heart of our problem. Look, we don't seem to be making much progress here. I need to take a blood sample from Poppy. I'm happy to wait until the service is over, but I have to do this. You have to ask Poppy. Joseph, it's obvious that you have a fever. You're getting worse. Please, let me help you. Linda. Joseph! Linda. I don't understand this We're man. not going to get anywhere with him right now. <sighs> What's happened? This is bad. I have 20 patients with the same symptoms and more on the way. Thank you very much. What's up? We may have a stage five virus alert on Barcerado Island. And where would that be? It's between Miami and Guantanamo. It's one of our Caribbean territories. Look it up. Wow, stage five. What's that, Ebola? Uh, I'm not sure yet, but we need to start thinking about a quarantine. Population? About 2,000 people, give or take. I want to be the first ones through the door on this. If it turns into something bad, I want us to stop it in its tracks. Tell me what you want. I want a team on that island as of yesterday. That's number one. There's a uh, carrier group running exercises near Guantanamo, so if a containment issue arises, we can use them. Want to know what all the medical facilities are, including the names of all the medical personnel? Find out as much as you can about Dr. Linda Fleming. She's the woman who reported this thing to us. This is my first time out as operations supervisor, so I'm going to be all, all over this thing. You ready? What about a press briefing? No. No, we keep this quiet. You can put out travel warnings, but until this situation is stabilized, I don't want to tell the press. I don't want them starting some major panic. We interrupt this program for a Channel 6 exclusive report. Today, 
the Center for Disease Control in Atlanta has ordered an emergency team dispatched to an island in the Caribbean called Barcerato. I have to find my mom. Channel 6 received Hurry back. that the okay. island has been hit with a deadly, fast-spreading virus of unknown origin. A full report will follow after these messages. Daddy? What, honey? Am I gonna die? No, sweetheart, you're not gonna die. We're gonna get you better. You listen to me. I promised your mother that you would have a good life. That you would go to college and one day meet somebody special. I think I have. Will seems like a fine young man. I'm glad that you like him. Trust me, honey. I'm gonna get you well. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. I promise. According to Dr. Linda Fleming, who is on the island of Barcerato, this virus is just as deadly as the well-known Ebola virus and could possibly decimate the entire island population of over 2,000 people. At Who's point, responsible for this? No I haven't talked to anybody except the CDC. They're going to panic the whole island. How'd they get your picture? As more information this fact just came in from the CDC. Now return you to our regularly scheduled program. Okay. Virus is unknown. Viruses, more than once. Both containing prions. Proteins on the surface of the suspected animal viral strain. That makes sense. There's both poultry and cattle on the island. Are any of the victims here farmers? Uh, you're thinking in big city terms. Yeah, here, most people keep chickens, some have cattle, and everybody goes to the market. What about Poppy? Where did he live? His chicken farm was out by the lighthouse. I can take you there. The CDC's gonna be here by tonight. That's okay, I'll be back by then. Will, you stay here. Keep an eye on Kathy. Quiet here, isn't it? Yeah, especially for a chicken farm. Yeah. I think I've eaten my last drumstick. Well, we have to burn every coop. How bad is this virus? It's hard to say at this point. They're unpredictable. One of these days, we're going to run into one that can't be stopped. Are you serious? You mean like the end of the world? It's possible. It's certainly more likely than a nuclear war or some meteor from outer space. And people don't realize. 40,000 Americans die every year from drug-resistant germs. It's a serious situation. Nevison, doctor, I recognize you from your picture on Channel 6. I had nothing to do with that report, I promise That's you. That's what they all say. What are you angling for? Book deal? Now, wait a minute. I'm telling you the truth. Just so you know, I will retain all rights to my name and any photographs containing my image. I'm joking. We can always count on the media to screw things up. Yeah, but how did they find out? The CDC called Washington, and, uh, well, you know Washington. By now, everyone on the planet knows we're here. Well, let me show you what we have, and then we'll take it from there. What we do know for sure is that the virus is not airborne. Mm, good. Who talked to Channel 6? I do not know. The White House just called. They want to know what's going on. Who blabbed? It wasn't us. Heck, it was probably somebody in the Surgeon General's office. Will you find out who it was? If it was us, I want the leak plugged. Fleming, can you hear me? I'm Susan Holm. I'm the operations supervisor here in Atlanta. Can I first say how fortunate we feel to have you on the site? 
and grateful for any assistance you can offer us. And I need to apologize for the news leak. Yeah, that's caused quite a few problems for us. Such as? People are going to want to leave the island, people who are already infected. Of course, we're going to help you screen everyone for the infection. As for people getting off the island, we've already contacted the Navy regarding a possible quarantine. So rest assured that they are fully equipped and prepared for a situation like that. I have every confidence in the CDC. We're starting to screen everybody, but it's hard to get people in. They're too afraid. So what are we going to do about that? Well, we're going to send more CDC personnel in and form groups and send them around house to house. We're going to use the media to inform people what's happening and tell them why it's important to be tested before they can be evacuated. We'll do that on a voluntary basis as long as we can. Okay, that sounds good. I'd like to talk longer, but I really have to get moving. Understood. Do the best you can. If there's anything we can do for you, we're here. Pick up the phone, tell us what it is. And we'll send it to you. I appreciate that. We'll send you data as we continue to test. Good luck. We're gonna need it. Stop for that old man. What? Now I'm gonna die because of you. What are you talking about? He was lying in the street. He needed help. Look what you did to me. <laughs> Look what you did to me. Now we're all gonna die. You okay? Oh, jet lag. What's going on? We're losing people. We lost four in the last two hours. What I'm finding is that survival rate has a lot to do with their general health and how well their immune system is functioning. Smokers, people with impaired lung functions, forget it. They'll be the first to go. Uh, well, that makes sense. Well, people who take care of themselves can have a better chance to fight this thing. You look like you're in pretty good shape. Uh, I wasn't talking about okay. myself. I jog five miles a day. Am I just a little happier about that right now? Yeah. Now, the tricky part is, we thought we were dealing with two separate viruses. What about now? Crowd forming at North Creek Marina. Alert Coast Guard. download of a before and after scan of the same virus. It's mutating. And this one is from a victim just brought in. I don't understand. And his T cell count is excellent. He's fighting the infection. Linda, that is the 
virus. It's hijacking T cells using that as cover. If it looks like a healthy T cell, we're not going to know who's infected and who's not until it's too late. I think you know what this means. <sighs> yeah. Have you notified Atlanta? <laughs> I know you're very busy, but I think you need an overview of our situation. This is an extrapolation based on our data. Are you getting this feed? Yeah, I see it. This marks the progress of the virus in the first 12 hours. The white dots represent the reported infections, and the red dots are confirmed fatalities. Now, because many of the locals are not going to the hospital, we've adjusted the rate to compensate for that. But based at the present rate of infection, this is what it's going to look like in the next 12 hours and in the next 24. And as yet, we don't know if there's any infected people that have made it to other islands, but if they have, this is what we're looking at. Haiti, Dominican Republic, Cuba, these are all economically deprived third world nations with large populations. Now, how fast it moves into the states is based on an immigration illegal alien figure. If we're using a conservative one infection over 100 ratio, we're looking at tens of thousands of cases in the U.S. alone over the next three months. So as of now, doctors, we have no choice but to declare Barcerado Island a wildfire hot zone and enforce an immediate quarantine. Hilo 77 X ray Adam. On set 130. Bring craft below 1,000 feet and scan shoreline. U.S. helicopters today prevented a mass evacuation by panicked residents of Barcerado Island attempting to beat the blockade. Hilo 165, proceed to specified coordinates. Military patrols have been stepped up and all local shipping is being searched before leaving the island waters. Last night, a freighter attempting to escape under cover of darkness was boarded and returned to the harbor. According to government sources, the people of Barcerado have now agreed to cooperate fully with the quarantine. As anxiety continues to spread throughout the region, local authorities... Anybody hurt? How badly? 
thank God, has everybody lost their minds. All right, don't move them. I'll have somebody pick them up. I need an ambulance at the airport. Two of my people have been hurt. How? What happened? Now, please. Of course. Ambulance is on its way. This is totally unacceptable. Cancel all incoming CDC flights. No, you can't. I'm going to tell them to close the airport. If those people grab one of these planes, who knows where they'll end up. Can't do that. I'll do the same. Thank you. John, what happened? Okay, look, I don't want any of you to end up as hostages if this thing turns into a riot. I want you to talk to your team, have them ready to move at a moment's notice. I'm going to have a chopper on ready alert, and we'll come and get you as soon as you say the word. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Right? They're afraid we'll be taken hostage by the people trying to get off the island. Why? Why you? Why not one of us? We're government personnel. Taking one of us would force Washington to deal with them. I don't believe this is happening. Don't they understand we need you here? They're well aware of that. Okay. My summer vacation by the late Linda Remy. government people are going to find a way to save you. My mom didn't want to die in a hospital. She begged my dad to take her out of there, and he did. He took her to Joseph. He helped her. But she died. Yeah. But she died in my dad's arms, in the open air, looking at the ocean. You are not going to die. Please, William. I'm asking you. Please, take me out of here. I can't. <laughs> I want to help you. Oh, God, I want to help you. But if I take you out of here, I don't know what might happen. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> I think I would have fallen in love with you even if all of this hadn't have happened. Kathy, I know. <laughs> I know. I feel the same way. And I, just, I mean, everything is just so, so crazy. <laughs> but the first time I saw you, I know. I could see that you liked me. It gave me goosebumps. It's so weird. I wish that we could have more time. We will have more time. You've got to stop thinking like that. You've got to believe everything is going to be okay. I know. Promise me. Promise me that you won't think about dying. Okay. You know what I'd like? What? Anything. Ice cream. <laughs> Ice cream. <laughs> okay. I'll go down and get you some. No, no. I mean the good stuff from the Freezerlicious. They make their own. Where is it? Just a couple blocks from here. What flavor? Strawberry. <laughs> All right. Just go out the front, take a left. Two blocks. Freeze delicious. Yeah. I'll be right back.
I just heard. Anybody hurt? One in serious condition with a spinal injury and broken ribs. They don't have much in the way of what we would call a police department. Down How there. come? They don't have any crime until now. What do you think I should do? I don't want to pull the team off the island, but... If they're in danger. Exactly. I don't want them to be used as hostages. Yeah. If we end up in a standoff, nobody wins. It's your call. I know. I'm going to pull them off the island. Well, look who's here. Hello, Mr. Baines. Where to? Hawk's Nest, please. We're taking our team off the island. You can't do that. Just until things cool down, and then we'll send them back to you. Excuse me, but when do you think that's going to happen? After we're all dead? I know what this sounds like, Linda, but we're not abandoning you. Fine. What do we do in the meantime? Keep working. Our team is going to be on board ship. You can easily transmit your data to them. They will not have the facilities to make use of our findings. Who is going to help me here? The people at this hospital are not research scientists. I'm sorry. This is a bump in the road for all of us. That's a bit of an understatement. Look, as soon as I can pull together a security team that is fully equipped with protective gear so they're safe from the virus... How long will that take? I don't know. You have to know that we're doing everything we can to make this work. Please don't give up on us. We're not giving up on you. You know, you owe me a vacation. I will pay for that myself. Yes, I'd like a margarita, please. And could you move that umbrella a little? It's blocking the sun. Kathy, she's left the hospital. I think I know where she's gone. Hop in, Will.
a minute I thought I saw the spirit of your mother. I've seen her many times, enjoying the ocean breeze and clear skies. Really? I feel her presence even now, watching over you. Maybe I'll be with her soon. Maybe. I wish I wasn't so afraid. Child, it's like walking through a door. You leave behind one family and we join another. How can you be sure? I have seen the other side. I know how it sounds, believe me. Nevertheless, I was given a look into what lies ahead. There's nothing to fear. Does your father know where you are? No. I wish you were here so I could say goodbye. A wish can be a prayer sometimes. A prayer that comes from the heart is often answered. It is a beautiful day to be alive. Don't you think? Yes. Kathy? Kathy, what have you done? No, it's all right, Dad. Everything is okay. It's my fault. I shouldn't have left you alone. No, no, it's not a bad thing. Listen, we have to get you back to the hospital. Yes, Paul? You're... I'm well. Yeah. If we don't get those temporary shelters before tonight... No, but... don't worry. They'll be here. In the meantime, I think we ought to move the ambulatory patients into the garden area. Keep them hydrated until the shelters are up. That'll free up about a dozen beds. Here, you. I want to see a doctor. Of course. If you'll just have a seat over there with the others, someone will give you a form. I want to see somebody now. Mr. Baines, is it? Yeah, that's right. If you don't sit down, I'm going to have you put in restraints. You people are all alike. Put on a white coat and you think you're God. We'll be with you as soon as we can. We didn't have this problem till you showed up. Anybody notice that? Yeah. Look, yeah. we'll get to everybody as soon as possible. Thank you for your patience. We're getting more people like him all the time. They're angry because they can't get off the island and they're blaming us. I know. Fear spreads faster than a virus. Yes. Paul, what is it? What's wrong? Are you sure? Where are you? the way your dad looks at my mom. I know. They look good together. Look at him. He's obviously better. You said as if it was something that could not be. May I? If you must. Have you taken something? A medicine? Something you made from herbs? I have taken only what God has given me. No, please don't do that. I need to know exactly what you've done to get well. I believe, woman, that is what I have done. Go thou and do likewise. Joseph, your blood will have antibodies to the virus. We can make a serum from it and heal everyone. When are you going to believe? What you are looking for is in the air around you. It is in every living thing. When you open yourself to God, you'll find all the answers you need. I understand that. 
I am opening myself to what is here right now. And what I see is that God may have put you here to save the lives of everybody on this island. Mm. You'll learn quickly. Your words flow like honey, but they come from here instead of here. Look, this is not about who's right or who's wrong or how we should live. This is about life and death. Paul's daughter is going to die if you don't help us. Will it help for me to say that you're right? That you have been able to find what has eluded the rest of us okay? You're right. We should be more like you. But right now, there is not time to change. You can still reach out and find the way. Joseph! Joseph, I tried. Don't you think I've prayed every moment? I, I can't find that place. I can't find that calm in the midst of all this chaos to, to listen to what God has to tell me. But that's why there's people like you. So that people like me can be helped. So that we can hear what God has to tell us. So you talk to him for me. You tell him a father would do anything to save his little girl. You tell him that I would give my life for him. You tell him, please. Take what you need. Right behind you, Will. Be careful. Yes, sir. I love you, Daddy. I love you too, honey. We're gonna get you better. You hang in there. Promise? Promise. You know, when I picked this island for a vacation, I was told absolutely nothing happens here. Traffic, no crime, nothing but sunshine, peace, and quiet. Considering the circumstances, do you really believe it was your choice to come to this island? restricted area. I need you to leave immediately. I want treatment. Can somebody take care of this man? Dahlia? Dr. Fleming, where are you? He's not here. He's taking his team to the airport. We had an incident. Two men tried to take Dr. Nevison hostage. He was wounded. They're being evacuated. I'm told they won't be allowed to come back to the island until the military can secure it. How long will that be? A week? No, that's not possible. They've got to come back. Look, I may have a cure. I just found somebody who had the virus and he recovered. Yes, I just took his blood. Now you've got to stop Nevison and his team from leaving. I'll do what I can. <sighs> what? They're evacuating the CDC team. Lord, no. Yes, to whom am I speaking? Miss Allen, this is Dr. Dahlia from the hospital. There are a group of people from the Center for Disease Control on their way there. You must have them. Yes, yes, please put them on. Nevison? Are you sure? Look, my people aren't safe here. We're under orders to leave. But you don't understand. She has a potential cure. She's bringing the blood in now. They're only at Hawk's Nest. That's 45 minutes away. If you leave now, we may not be here by the time you get back. Excuse me. 
We've got an emergency, man. You gotta move your car. I want that cure. Whoa. Where is it? God, he's insane. Take it easy. Wait a minute. What are you doing? You try it. You can't have that! No! No! Don't do this. Now listen, you don't know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. Move. We need that to make a serum. You can't just inject it! Back off! Don't do this. Baines, come on. We may be able to help you. I'm through waiting in line. People could die because of you. you don't follow me. Fine. Where's my mother? I have to talk to her. Relax. She'll be here soon. I can't see anything. What's happening? Everything's all right. Will? I'm right beside you. Don't leave me, okay? Never. It's me. We have a problem. The car broke down. What? I can't hear you. You're breaking up. Where's your car? What? All right. We'll be there as soon as we can. Stop! 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 Has everybody gone crazy? The virus. They're all terrified. Oh, my God. They're leaving. How can they leave? We have the blood. Maybe we can do this by ourselves. I can't even walk. I can't keep my eyes open. You gotta keep going. My daughter's life depends on it. Dr. Fleming, they're coming back. The CDC just called. I told them about the blood, and they're coming back. They turned back. Who? Our team. They were en route, the USS Madison. And then they turned around and went back. Nevison. Yeah. You know what? Call the president's office. I want him to know that in the middle of nowhere on an island hardly anybody's heard about, there are Americans helping other people. They're disobeying orders to do it. You know what? No matter what anybody says, when the stuff hits the fan, we're always there. Tell him that. Be happy to. Tell him I want a year off. Got it. What? I love you. Can you save her? Absolutely. Truth. Dr. Fleming, Dr. Fleming. 
You're needed in the lab. Wow, you look as bad as I feel. Thanks. Actually, I was just about to go play some tennis and um, then get a massage. What can I do for you? Okay, I won't keep you then. How's your son doing? He's holding his own. We're praying for him, Linda. We're praying for everybody there. Can you give me an approximate ETA on the serum? Well, we just were able to hook up with your main computer, so that should give us a leg up. Uh, once we're in the same ballpark, so to speak, we should be able to make some real progress. Good. That sounds promising. Yeah, it is if you have a few weeks to work with. We don't. Here's the problem. We've been able to track the progression of the virus on a typical patient. And it's become very clear to us that if we don't come up with a serum in the next 24 hours, we're going to lose just about everybody we have here, including my son. I see. So, we've got 24 hours. We have till 6 p.m. tomorrow. Yeah. OK, I really won't keep you then. Everybody here is praying for you. We need all the prayers we can get. No, I told you before, we tried that already. It doesn't work. Oh, Look, no, it's right there on your data sheet. Pay attention, for God's sakes. You're wasting time. Hey. We've got to work together. We are I duplicating know, failed we're procedures. We're all right now. We need our second one. You need to take a break. Just close your eyes for a minute. Forget it. John, I'll wake you in 15. Go on. You're no good to us this way. you to keep going. He does? Yeah. Yeah, listen, Kathy, he told me he, he, he can't make it without you. He said he needs you to get better. Do you hear me? <laughs> Don't let him down. You were giving me a progress report. Where was I? You're making progress. We're close. How close? This close. How are you holding up? Just signed up for an aerobics class. You want to join me? Yes, absolutely. Linda? Yeah. Thank you. For what? For absolutely everything. We're not there yet. No, I know, but hey. Yeah? There are people. I did good. 
I'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Another hour. Yeah. We're cutting it really close. here I was a little concerned I mean they just took one look at oh me I know too. bang wow. they were gone I guess it happens like that when you're young yeah remember how that felt <laughs> yeah I do I hope it works out for them they deserve something wonderful after everything that's happened well there's always a risk that I won't but hey I think it's worth it don't you yeah I do wonder though Maybe it was the extraordinary circumstances, all the drama, what happened that led them to this point. And that wears off after a while. Sometimes I think it takes something like what we've been through to make those emotions flower. And even though circumstances may change, the feeling that's inside of both of them won't go away. Right? I hope not. I would like to see them happy and in love for the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. More than anything. Come on. 
on you too. Let's join the party. Oh, okay. Be there. Say this to fun. Hey. So when do you go back? Oh, I've got a ton of follow-up on this virus. CDC wants a complete analysis of our methodology. Then I have to do a breakdown on the different stages of infection. Mm, sounds like a lot of work to me. Oh, two months, at least. Really? That long? What about your job? I'm going to take a leave of absence. This is too important. Two months. Yeah, at least. But this is an ideal location for studying viruses. Sounds more like three months to me. Maybe even more. <coughs> now, where have you been? Enjoying myself. You should try it sometime. I was. Let your laughter be a blessing to others. I never really have thanked you yet for what you did. Me? I did nothing. You saved the lives of our children. It is flattering to see thanks for God's work. Come, I want you to dance with me. Oh, show the Lord we are truly happy for all that he gives us. I, I really am not a good dancer. I, I can't. <laughs> sure you can. Come on, Paul. Show your woman what it's like to be an islander. I think I already have. <laughs> <laughs> 